dream I was in the cave. I saw my daughter again. She was alive. She was... She was reaching. Reaching out toward me. What does it say on the chart? Can... Look, I'm not crazy. I'm not making this up. This is real. This is real. She's trying to leave me to her. So you're telling me that uh, these dreams I've been having, that this, these experiences, they're basically nothing. No, not at all. Well, that they're just dreams, that they don't count for anything more than that, no matter how vivid they are, no matter how unlike anything else I've ever experienced they are. I'm not discounting that, believe me. See, a psychiatrist might tell you that your dreams are what they call denial. That their image is embodying a powerful wish that your daughter is still alive. You were denied the common rituals associated with death, the saying goodbye, the viewing of the body, the burial. Death is hard enough to accept when you see it. You never did. So in other words, I'm just seeing what I want to see. It is possible. With all due respect, Doc, I, uh, I'd have a hard time buying into that. Mr. Castillo, I'm a scientist. Above all, I respect what is, whether I understand it or not. It would be sheer arrogance, not to mention bad science, to suggest that thought processes I can't detect simply don't exist. I take a larger view of human life than that. I don't reduce it to what shows up on graph paper. What happened to you happened. It's just something that we can't help you with. I'm sorry. You can get dressed now. Hi, uh, Mike. Uh, come in. Come in, come in, come in. Thanks. I don't mean to intrude. I just wanted to stop in, say... Goodbye, and thank you for trying to help. Paris? Yeah, it'll probably do both of us good. Eden loves the place. Well, I'm sorry that the reasons you didn't go with her last week didn't pan out, or I, or I gather. Yeah, my visions. Don't. Don't? What did I think? Oh, you thought that there was a chance, and it's better you pursued it than not. I wonder. It was just another dodge, after all. Just another straw to grasp at. Apparently, I do just about anything to keep from accepting the obvious. And why shouldn't you? I mean, what does it matter? There's no percentage in being good at it. The people I worry about are the people that accept death too quickly. How am I going to get to the next thing, Michael? Last call, mid flight six. Well, I guess this is the end of the line. Well, they'll let us through the gate with you, won't they? No, and even if they would, I think this guy should be home in bed. Well, he's fine. Just two more days on the antibiotics. Well, if he's fine, then why can't he come with me? Because he shouldn't fly with infected ears. It's dangerous. Yeah, I suppose. Of course, if it's really just going to be two more days, maybe I could wait. You've waited long enough, and Eden needs you more. And besides, what am I supposed to do about her company, hmm? Yeah. You could stay at the house if you'd like. He loves his room. That's all. Stop it's... worrying. I'm the one that should be worried with hijackers and foreigners. And... A lot of people are only foreigners when they're out of their own country. I'll be the foreigner. Well, you can argue me into a corner, but you can't stop me from worrying. You know, he does feel a little bit warm. Did you give him his medicine last night? Yes, I gave him his medication. And where were you last night? Uh, well, I was... I was out doing something I thought I needed to do, but I didn't. It doesn't matter. Well, I don't want you to come back until everything happens. David Tietrich. Mr. David Tietrich. Mm -hmm. Remember, Michael, I love you. And give you my love, too. Okay. You get a chipper.
Los Angeles with continuing non-stop service to Paris will now begin boarding at gate 6. All passengers may board at this time.